Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live, not live, from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Sunday evening. It is July 31st and I am not live tonight so I pre-recorded this video for all of you. We are camping. Woohoo! So, <clears throat> we packed everything up. Steve and I and we took Jared and Haley, Val and Dawson and Molly on a camping trip for the week. We are at Lake Arbutus in gorgeous Hatfield, Wisconsin. Hatfield has a population of 50 in the winter and 4,000 or 5,000 in the summer. So it's one of those fun little towns that really has a lot going on in the summertime. We have a fantastic lake to fish in. Oh, absolutely love Lake Arbutus. It's great fishing. It's great tubing. It's great swimming. So much fun. So tonight, Sunday night, August, or I'm sorry, July 31st, we are probably roasting some marshmallows right about now. I hope we are anyways, because I do love the roasted marshmallows. Yay! So, um... I promised that I was going to be sharing the other floating panel card that I um, got from Mary a couple weeks ago and I would be sharing how to make that and also the adorable little box that she made. Oh, and hang on just a second. Remember these little cakes? Yeah, did everybody go get some little cakes? You're going to be ready for your cute little box. <laughs> Let's see what's going on this week. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a John report. I have not seen John at all. His truck is gone. It's been there, but I haven't seen him coming or going. So I don't know what's going on with John, but I don't really have a John report. Um, we do have some things starting next, well, this week, actually. It's going to be this week, August 1st. Um, I am going to be doing a grab bag special with your $75 order. You're going to get a grab bag of um, surprise from me. And the larger your order, the larger the grab bag. My um, special will be going on from August 1st through the 15th, so please watch for that. It's posted on my blog. And I also am going to be doing bingo next week. Um, we're going to be back, <clears throat> excuse me, on the 7th or 8th. Bingo is on Wednesday, August 10th. So if you would like to do a card class with a little bingo thrown in between, registration is on my blog. I've also posted it on my Facebook page. And you can find the links for that right under this video on YouTube. So make sure you check those out. Bingo is a lot of fun. And it comes with um, a, cl a class for five cards. So I'll be making live five cards. It's a YouTube live. So I'll be sending the link out to everybody that registers. And um, we make five cards, and in between that, we play four games of bingo, which is super fun. So lots of great prizes. And the bingo registration does include the pre-cut card stock, make and takes, plus anywhere from $15 to $20 worth of product in with your make and take packet. So um, it's a lot of fun, and it's $35. Now, you can choose to add on the bundles if you don't have them or you may choose to use something else you have that is similar to make the make and takes. Let's see, what else? I have my kit class for the month of August. This is going to be coming out, mm, I think it was posted on Friday. I've got everything scheduled so that I can get out of town, you guys, so uh, dates are gonna be kinda jumbly, but um, my kit class for the month of August is going to be the Christmas Scotties and oh my goodness super super cute little punch stamp set and I have to say I have not made the cards for this yet this is a pre-order to see how many kits I need to make up but I'm thinking that I'm not I might have one Christmas card otherwise they're gonna be other ideas besides Christmas because I love to take a set that's meant for one thing Christmas and make cards that are totally different than that holiday or whatever the case may be so that you can get a lot of versatility out of your bundles so maybe one christmas card the rest are not going to be christmas so that's going to be a lot of fun the kit comes with a bunch of product included pre-cut card stock to make eight cards you're going to have 
four different designs and you make two of each card in the Christmas Scotty card kit. The other thing that we have going on is my online class that I do with Barb and Dina this month in August is going to be the Seasons of Chic. And oh my goodness, I should have gotten this out so that I could show it to you. This is the class where you have two different options. You can buy option one, which is the whole enchilada, or you can get option two, which is maybe you already have the stamp set, the dies, the designer paper, but option two is a kit for people who might already have the products. And it does come with some products, but it also comes with the pre-cut cardstock to make six different cards. You get video tutorials for each one. It's fantastic. This is the season of chic. Oh my goodness, is that not just incredibly beautiful? I've had so much fun with this. I will be making a card um, kind of to give you a little introduction to everything that is included in that particular bundle, but not tonight. Tonight we have important things to do that I have promised you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> It's a little different because I don't get to talk to you. I don't have any comments coming up on the screen. So that is, um, it's kind of a different little animal tonight. But I do have prizes to give away. So there are three ways for you to win prizes. Please leave a comment under this YouTube video. You'll be entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I have some in color jewels here. These are going out to Karen Goltz of Janesville, Minnesota for commenting on my Facebook Live video last week. So congratulations, Karen. Watch for those in the mail. Also, um, you can share this video, whether you're on Facebook or you're on YouTube, there's a share someplace and I always appreciate your shares. That's another way to get in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Ardella Burdick of Almina, Wisconsin. I have some Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper on its way to you for sharing my Facebook Live last week. So congratulations and thank you very much. The third way that you can win fabulous prizes is by placing an order with me in my online store. And I always, always appreciate your orders. This is what keeps me in business. It keeps these free videos coming to you and it keeps my bills paid. <laughs> I have four, oh, let's see, who's winning this? Sherry Bates is the winner. She is from Buckley, Washington. Sherry, I have the driving by stamp set, the adorable sunshine and rainbows designer series paper, as well as three ink spots that were donated to me and I believe Terry Mullinex donated these. So thank you so much, Terry. I just know that Sherry is going to really enjoy these and all the prizes going out. Now don't let me forget you guys, I have mail to share with you. So I don't wanna to forget to do that. Where did I put those other things? Oh, they're right here. I'm like, where did I put those? I don't wanna lose these. Because if they get buried someplace, I won't get them out in the mail. And I have mailing envelopes ready to go so I can get those in the mail right before I leave. All right. Um, so we talked about the classes. We've got all that going on. There's a lot happening in August. First of all, I'm gone for a week of camping, right? And then when I get back from camping, I have bingo. The following week, I'm taking a trip with my stepdaughter, Anna, and little Miss Molly. And remember, I went to um, North Dakota last month with Anna and Andy on a little girl's trip. Well, now it's Molly's girl's trip turn. And we are going to be going on a trip on um, the 15th and 16th. I think we're going to up to Michigan and we're going to do some crystal searching on the beaches. There's supposed to be some crystals and maybe go look at some waterfalls and stuff like that. We're not quite sure yet but Anna's got something fun up her sleeve. So that's that week. Then I have my Stamp Happy Academy Live class. We're gonna be doing some really cool things in the Stamp Happy Academy Live classes. We are going to start switching them up. We're gonna do technique cards. We're going to do fun folds. We're gonna do layouts. We're, there's just gonna be so much fun happening. If you're not a member of the Stamp Happy Academy, please go check it out. You can just type in a search engine, stamphappyacademy.ning, N-I-N-G, 
www.ellenbarnes.com or right under this video in the description there's like a see more that you click on and it'll give you all the links to all the things including my online store and all the places there's a link in there to stamp happy academy it is the best gift that you could probably give yourself as a stamper because we provide you dina barb and i this is our website we provide you with so much good inspiration it also includes benefits that um, like our catalog kickoff we just did recently if you're a Stamp Happy Academy member, you get that for free. There's just all kinds of goodies that go with it. You can read about that on the website. So I'm gonna be live on the 18th for a live class. There are three live classes every month and four online classes posted on the website every single month. Right now there are over 70 online classes on there at your fingertips if you're a member of Stamp Happy Academy. Okay. The week after that, Stampin' Up! is having its first event since all the COVID. I'm looking at the sky, it's beautiful right now. It's like reds and yellows. Um, so that's why I keep kind of like glancing over there because it's catching my eye. Um, Stampin' Up! is having their first event since COVID. It is a leadership conference. Um, demonstrators from all over the country, possibly world. I know we have some people outside the, outside the US coming. We're headed to New Orleans. And I'm really looking forward to this leadership conference. It's called Backstage. And it'll be the first time that we're all gathering other than incentive trips. So it's going to be pretty cool. All right. Um, so it's going to be a super, super busy August for me. But I've got all my ducks in a row. Leading up to this vacation, I have done all of the back work to make sure things flow smoothly while I'm gone. <laughs> And I do have really good internet at the campground, so I should be able to keep up on my emails and stuff like that. So I just want you guys to know that I won't abandon you, but if you are registering for classes and you don't get your invoice within a day or two, don't panic. Um, I, I will get to them, but um, invoicing, some people think that once they register for a class that automatically generates an invoice. I don't have anything fancy like that. I get an email and then I have to go in and copy and paste your email address into my invoicing system and pop you an invoice. So it's all very manual. <laughs> We're not that fancy yet, right? Okay, I think that we might be ready to turn this camera around. I'm really excited and don't let me forget, I have some beautiful mail, lots of beautiful mail to share with you too when we're done here. So. Like I said, we're going to be making a floating panel card. It's going to be different than the floating panel card that I made for you last week on my Facebook Live. Remember this little jewel, just in case you missed it. I will turn the camera around and share this with you and tell you how you can find the video for that and a free download that you can print out and keep in your stamping library to help you make these. So let's flip our camera around, hang tight, and we will get this set up and get it straight because nobody likes a crooked tabletop. How's that look, you guys? Is that pretty? Hang on. Don't get dizzy. No throwing up. There's no throwing up and stamping. I hope that is straight. Oh, let me get my other light on. Hang on. Oops, it's not turning on. It, it was unplugged. There we go. There we go. That looks really good. Okay, I think we're looking good there. So, um, well, first of all, did you catch my blog hop on Friday? These are the gorgeous cards. We um, This was with the Totally Techniques Design Team. This is a team of Stampin' Up! demonstrators from all over the world. And we do a different technique every month and then do a blog hop. And what that means is that you go to my blog, www.stampabove.com, and under this post, you're gonna see other links to click and go to other people's blogs where we're there doing the same technique. This was using the masking paper. This is a brand new product in the annual catalog from Stampin' Up! And these are like giant post-it notes. So we used those in a variety of different ways to do some masking techniques. These were my cards. And with this card, I used the Wonderful World stamp set. Now this is one of our free celebration items 
when your order reaches $100, you get this stamp set and a pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper that matches it. And you can see just how incredibly beautiful this paper is. It's just so pretty. I'm, uh, I'm in awe of it. So many pretty florals, some um, smaller designs on the back. It's really, really cool. So these two together are free with a $100 order. Now celebration lasts until the end of August, in case you are new and didn't know that. If you would like the celebration brochure and the mini catalog, um, there's some fantastic stamping ideas in all of these. I would be happy to send them to you. Just pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and give me your address and I would be happy to send those to you. So. Here's my pretty little cards. I used blending brushes with um, the circle dies and uh, the masking paper, and it was it was pretty cool. What do you think? Pretty neat, huh? These are fun, pretty, elegant cards. I've got a get well and a congratulations here using that wonderful world. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And then this was the card. This is called a floating panel card that I made last week on my Facebook Live. This is a tall card. And look at this. Whoops, hang on. Oh, this is, this is how this one goes. These panels are floating on there, right? And then they all push down and we have this adorable belly band. This is the Ringed with Nature bundle. I also have an online class in this and I have a couple packets left if you're interested. You can get the whole bundle with your online class or you can just order the kit which has um, video tutorials for six cards, dimensions, all the written instructions, pictures, the whole deal and pre-cut cardstock pack with some product. So that's my floating panel card. This is a little bit different than the one that I'm going to share with you tonight. The one that I share with you tonight is gonna to go sideways. So it's gonna be this way. This is a tall card. This is this is hamburger, this is hot dog. <laughs> That's what my friend Barb calls it. So, and this was just my little um, template that I made up so I could figure out and know what I was doing. I did this with some scrap paper. But that's not a bad idea when you're doing something a little intricate like this. And I was going to ask you guys, too, I still have my camera facing me so I could give you an eyeball. Are you ready to get your big girl panties on? Huh? <laughs> this card is not complicated, but I do have to admit that I have looked at dimensions. I haven't actually made the card. So we may have a complete cluster here. We may be... Um, <laughs> stopping this video and doing it over what we don't know but I'm just gonna bring in all of my layers here so I just like this card you can see there's lots of layers here okay and that's what we're gonna have with this one um, we are going to be using the orchid oasis brand new in color I absolutely love the color of this paper I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer because we do have some scoring to do. So let me find my dimensions here. This piece is four and one eighth by nine and a half. And we're gonna score on the long side, so let's do that right away. Now, don't panic on all these measurements because there's gonna be a free download when you go to my blog, link under this video, um, there's going to be a free download that you can print out that has all of the pictures, the instructions, a link to the video, and the dimensions in there for you. So we're going to score this at one inch. And I always like to do one inch over on this side. I just feel like being able to push it up against this base makes it a little more stable than trying to do a score line way out here. So we've got a score at one inch. We're going to score this at two inches, seven and a half, oops, hang on, seven and a half and eight and a half. Pretty easy so far, right? Eight and a half. Now, on the short side, we're going to score from the edge to that first score line at one inch. So I'm going to put this down 
just like that. And can you see what I did there? I just scored right there. We're gonna do the same thing on this side at one inch. And there we go. We've got a little notch there and a little notch there. Okay, next, let me see what I've got going on here. I've got all these little pieces. Okay, uh, these two. These are going to be the guides that hold the floating panels. These are two and a half by three, and we have a little bit of scoring to do here. So we are going to go on the short side, pushed up against the base here. We're gonna score at three quarters and one and three quarters. So I'm gonna score at three quarters and then one and three quarters. And we're gonna do that on both of these pieces. And I said these pieces are two and a half by three. So we're gonna go three quarters, and then one and three quarters. There we go. So these are our little mechanisms that are gonna hold things. Okay, I think we're done with that. Now we can actually start a little bit of assembly here. And I've got my liquid glue. This is my adhesive of choice. I absolutely love it. We are going to take our designer series paper. Now I chose to use this pattern and this pattern, and these are definitely have a right side up with the orchid opulence. And these two panels, I'll tell you about these. This is the Bigger panel is two and a half by three and three eighths, and you need two of them. The smaller panel is two by two and seven eighths, and you need two of them. And then we have an inside panel. This inside um, layer, I should say, is basic white, and it is four by five and three eighths, which is a different size. So make sure you four by five and three eighths. Okay, we're gonna start gluing these together. So I've got my bigger pattern here. I should see my bigger layers on my bigger panels of cardstock. Okay, this is super easy to just put all these layers together. And of course you guys know that I love layers because when you put layers on a card, you don't really have to do a lot of other things to it. You layer it up and you're gonna have something that looks like a quality product, right? And I love that about utilizing all the layers. Okay, I love this paper. It's just so pretty and it's free. <laughs> Gotta love free. It's a good time to stock up on your cardstock and adhesives and stuff like that. During celebration, get yourself a six month paper pumpkin subscription um, for every $50 that you spend on that subscription, you get a free celebration item. So you could get a couple of these designer papers with the, with the um, stamp set. Okay, now we have this done. Before we start assembly, we're gonna do assembly all together. So I'm just gonna set these all aside and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. We're going to take this layer and I've got my, um, Orchid Oasis here. I'm bringing in, I needed a sentiment set, right? So I've got our wonderful world, which has all these images in it, but I needed some sentiments. So I brought this best year in. I love the font on this. We're gonna make this a birthday card. So I'm going to stamp my happy birthday to you. And we're gonna stamp it right on here. And then, I'm gonna use those stylish shapes dies. I really like these. I love the banners that are in them. Uh-oh, I think I took my banner out. Oh, yep, here it is. Hang on, I found it. Um, this is the, there's two banners, two long banners like this, and then there's this one and a smaller one. We're gonna use the biggest banner. So let me put these all away. And we're going to die cut this right on here. And of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Then the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to take this pretty flower. I just love this flower. And I'm just gonna ink that up just a little bit. 
okay? And I'm going to stamp off because I just want to come in and just do a little bit of flowers on this label. Oh, shoot, look what I did. I just totally ruined it. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, when you have edges like that, and I did tip my stamp in the ink, so just know that that was totally my fault. But when you have edges like that, I like to trim that extra rubber off. And I'm going to pull the stamp off of here and you wanna make sure that your scissors are cutting straight up and down, not angled in any way, shape, or form. I've got an address, personalized address stamp that I ordered from some stamp company, and it doesn't stamp right because they angled the rubber. They angled it, and so when you push it down, it's not getting a firm platform under it for it to stamp nice. And I, I can totally see what's happening because I've actually done that before where I've been cutting these and I cut them on an angle that just <laughs> jacked them all up. That's what happens. I mean, you can, you can really wreck a stamp set by not cutting straight up and down. So, and what I mean by that is that this is straight. It's not angled so that it's less underneath. You guys know what I mean, right? Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna do this part first. Okay, here's our flowers. I'm gonna stamp off once and then come in here. Oh, that looks so much better, doesn't it? And we'll do that again. I'm gonna do that right over here. That looks perfect. Now let's see if I can stamp my words on there straight. We may start over with this because I'm not putting a jacked up <laughs> label on this beautiful card, I'll tell you that. Oh, look how good I did. Whew. Yes, I am a professional. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, next step. What we're gonna do next is just like Mary did on her card, I wanted to whoops, bring in these Artistic Mix Decorative Masks. Hang on, I'm trying to pick this one up and it's not letting me get under it. So this is a whole set of masks and this is a new one in the annual catalog. These are some really neat designs, but look at this plaid. We've got that fun plaid. We've got bigger blocks of plaid, so you can use these in conjunction with each other. And this is just a great way to make your own designer paper. Here's um, some fancy images. And then we have these two. Not only do we have openings where we can mask um, these shapes, but we've also got the actual shapes where you can hold onto this and mask around it or blend color around it. So both of those are in this pack. And again, this is called Artistic Mix Decorative Masks. So let me set these aside. I'm going to use this little kind of flower um, decorative mask because that's what Mary used on her card. And I thought it was pretty uh, genius, Mary, first of all, pretty genius. And it's really pretty. What's happening here? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what I did. I got a hole in my little in my little envelope here. Good grief. I'll fix this later. I can't deal with all that. We've got stuff to do, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna take this piece and remember this is our four by five and three eighths layer. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put this mask right on top of this layer. And I wanna make sure that this is pretty straight going into this. So I'm gonna hold this up in the light so I can see it just a little bit better. I just wanna make sure that this is in here straight. And what we're gonna do, uh, let me get a scrap paper. Here's a little, just a piece of printer paper. Let me set this over here so I don't wreck that, right? And I'm gonna set that down there. And then I have a blending brush and my Orchid Oasis ink. So I like to kind of dissipate this right because you don't, you don't want those big globs on your project, or maybe you do. So that's completely up to you. 
but we're going to come in here and we're going to blend with the blending brush all over this white layer. Now one of the things that Mary did on hers that I thought was just the coolest look is she didn't make it even all over her entire layer. And I thought that was pretty neat. Over here it was a lot lighter. Don't let it move. You don't want your dye to, or your mask to move. I hope, I just heard Steve come out of the garage. I hope he's looking for the life jackets. Are you guys ready for this? <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? So see how it's a little bit lighter over here? Mary's was actually even lighter than that. I don't know. I might need to make this lighter, but let me see. I'm gonna stamp my inside sentiment wishing you your best year yet. And we'll see if it even looks good. It's kind of getting drowned out in there. You know what I mean? So I think what we'll do is we'll do this again. And I am going to line this up. I like to hold it up so I can see through it and get it on here straight. And then I'm gonna pin it down. And now I'm just gonna go over this with the ink that is in here so that it's very, very pale because I don't want my inside sentiment to get drowned out, right? You don't want that to be drowned out. So we don't want this to be too dark. I'm not even gonna ink it up again. I love these masks and I can't wait to play with that plaid one. Oh, especially with fall, our next holiday, or our next holiday, <laughs> our next season. That's gonna be really cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, look at that, you guys. Ha! Okay, <laughs> here comes wishing you your best year yet. And I'm gonna stamp that. And now look how different that looks. Isn't that pretty? This was too much. This is just enough. Okay, let's set this aside. And the last thing that I'm gonna do before we assemble say, oh, this is going to make me so mad if I lost my flower that I cut out because I already cut one of these flowers out. But we're going to grab our paper snips and cut out whatever flowers you think would look good on here. And I already cut out one of these. So I think at this point, gosh, I don't know if I want one of these white ones. I think I'll do one of these other little purple ones. And don't get too cranked about these. They don't need to be absolutely perfect. And if you don't wanna do this part, you don't even have to, but I just thought it was really pretty. So I'm just gonna kinda, I'm not like being real precise here. I'm just kinda wiggling my scissors around. The bigger one that I cut out, it was a little bit easier to be more precise with that. Let's cut a little bit more of that. There we go. Look at that, that's it, easy peasy. Okay, so we've got that flower. We've got this flower. And we're gonna hit those with a little bit of Wink of Stella. Now, I had my Wink of Stella out here someplace and then I lost it. And then I found it again. And I'm just gonna say, and now I lost it again. I found it, don't worry. I'm just gonna color this. We're gonna just add a little bit of sparkle to this flower. That's gonna make it stick out and it's gonna be so spectacular. And I know this is hard to see in the camera. Hang on, I feel like I need to get some more in there. You just push the barrel and then I'll put some more down in there. There we go. Now I can feel it flowing. I like to tip it in the light a little bit, make sure, yep, I got Wink Costello all over that. Now, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of these flowers. And then, we're gonna start assembling our card. So here comes this piece. We are going to take this and we're going to cut in on that score line that we put on the edge right there. And then we're gonna diagonally go up to the other score line. Okay, pretty easy. Again, we're gonna cut over like this and then diagonally go up to that score line, just like that. Grab your bone folder. 
Oops. And we're gonna do a little like accordion here on this layer. So it goes one way and then back, just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Did anybody have any questions so far? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's so hard when I'm not live because I like answering your questions and seeing your comments. Okay, so this is our card base. We're going to bring this layer in. Make sure that you don't put glue on the wrong side because like if I put glue on that side, I'd be really mad. We'd have to do this whole thing over again, right? Okay, so there comes our piece. I'm gonna make sure this is straight. Pull it up just a little bit. There we go, look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I love it already. Okay, now we've got all these panels put together. Remember I said you needed to put your big girl panties on. Well, it's not that bad, honestly. So let's burnish our edges good. I'm gonna get these done. I'm live. <laughs> he was just coming in to say goodnight. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do the other one. And we'll, this goes in an accordion fold also. And you know, you never know what's gonna come out of their mouth, right? So that's why I'm always like, I'm on. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them I said that. <laughs> you just never know. Okay, then we're gonna go there is this, sh the, each one of these sides is shorter, so it doesn't matter really which way you go, but we are going to do our smaller panel first, okay? So we have these bigger ones and these smaller ones. We're gonna do this panel first. And what we're gonna do with it is we're going to put this, this right up against this edge, okay? right up against that edge. And I think, yeah, that's what we have to do. I'm gonna go just like that. So we're gonna add some glue. Now, if I decide this isn't right, we'll be talking about it. <laughs> I'll tell you what to do, because you're not making this as you're watching me, right? Because I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Okay, so this looks, okay, that should stick out like that. That's exactly right. And then we're gonna take this, see how it goes like this now? And we're gonna put this right inside here. So I wanna, let's see, do I want this? Okay, you want this down at the bottom. So flush at the bottom, okay? So I've got that in place. We're gonna put some glue on here and we're gonna glue that one. Now I'll show it to you again. Okay, just like this. Remember I told you to put your big girl panties on. <laughs> Here comes the other one. Now this one has to be opposite. So we're gonna have this. It's gonna get glued right here to the side like this. Okay. I want glue over here. Hang on while I wipe that on my shorts. My friend Rachel messaged me. She was riding her bike over to Solea, which is our Mexican bar and grill. She asked me if I want to go for a margarita. I'm like, oh gosh, I can't drink a margarita before I come on here. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I have enough issues. She knows this about me. <laughs> but maybe I'll have a margarita when we're done tonight. Okay, and now you're gonna take that and you're gonna put it right there like that. Put it down to the bottom and glue this on, just like that. Mary did a really good job with the instructions she shared with me. So, and now we are going to take these panels right here and this part that we just put in there goes towards the outside and it goes on right here. So. And you're gonna stack this up so everything is nice and even with the edge now, okay? So I'm gonna put, ow! <laughs> this thing has poked me so many times. Oh my goodness, I gotta make an adjustment here. Hang on, we don't want any bleeding. Okay. 
All right, you guys want to hear a really funny story? So if you saw any of my Facebook pictures, Val like scraped her knees up. She fell in the driveway at her house. And notice I said at her house, not my house. <laughs> So, and um, she got all these little scrapes on her knees. So she had like four band-aids on each knee. So she looks like, oh my gosh, what happened? She went to a birthday party for um, Jared's cousin. And somebody said, Val, what did you do? And when she was over here, I said, she looks like she's got the monkey pox. <laughs> she went to the birthday party and they said, Val, what happened? And she goes, monkey pox. <laughs> I know monkey pox isn't funny, but <laughs> that certainly was. Yeah, and if you don't get a kick out of that, I'm probably not your person. Because I say lots of things that probably shouldn't be funny, but they are. <laughs> if you have a good sense of humor. So, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is, you guys. What? How crazy is that? Floating panel card. Okay, we're going to put this one on. And then we're going to be total rock stars and finish this card. Okay, so again, this part right here goes to the outside over here. I'm gonna fold this little baby down and you're gonna match it up with the bottom and the right side of the card. Oh, look, it actually works. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I didn't know if it would, you guys, because I've never, I've never done this one. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't this just like, oh, crazy pretty. Okay, now, what are we gonna do with that banner? We gotta finish this up. So what we're gonna do with the banner, oh, that's the one that's jacked up. Oh, I can't use that side, you guys, because you can see it from the back, it looks stupid. So we're gonna have to do that over. So hang on while I grab another scrap of white. This will work perfect. Darn it, we got it so perfect, didn't we? Oh, I'm having a hot flash now. I should get out my cooling mist. <laughs> Where were we? We were on something live. This stuff is really nice. It cools you down. We were on, um, oh, the uh, bingo for the Stamp Happy Academy. We just had a big bingo night. And I squirted this stuff, and I didn't think the camera had me spotlighted, but it did. And I squirted it, and I got it in my eye, and it was a whole thing. And oh, my good Lord. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. And the camera was on me the whole time. And... <laughs> We all laughed and <laughs> Wendy, I know Wendy's laughing. Wendy gave me the cooling mist. <laughs> so, the first time I ever used it, I squirted it right in my eye and it burns really bad, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we need this again. Enough about all my silly little problems, right? Oh, um, I'm gonna cut this out before I stamp those flowers. Well, you know what? I would really like the flowers to be stamped first. That would actually work better because then you wouldn't. See how it kind of stopped right there because of the, um, this little stitching spots. So I'm gonna stamp this first. So we'll look at this one that turned out beautiful and decide where we need to go with this flower. So I just stamped it off once and now we'll do that again. Stamp it off once, we'll put it right here. Oh, I hope that's what we're gonna, it should be, right? Oh yeah, it's gonna be, should we do a little bit over here? I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my temporary tape I'm sweating like a pig because I messed up. No, I was already starting to sweat and I didn't get that cranked about this. <laughs> this is an easy fix. It's not like the whole project went down the toilet. Okay, we're gonna die cut that, hang tight. I'm gonna need a shower when we're done, holy man. I think, it's, I think when I close my door to my office, it gets really warm in here. We don't have our air on, and it's been pretty nice here in Wisconsin. And I am in an upstairs office, so. Oh, oh, there you guys. Now that's perfect, and I'm very happy with that. I'll take it. Okay, we're going to throw that one away. That one was dumb. Um, I wasn't thinking. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Okay, now we're going to take this. And we're going to put our birthday banner right on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like figure out where the center is. And we're going to add some glue. Just like that. I'm going to hold this down. And I am going to center and make sure my label is straight. 
Now you only wanna get glue on this part. You don't want your glue spilling over like I have it there because your card won't open. Let me see if I can grab 500 Kleenex out of the box. You know how that is when you just want one and like you can't get it and a whole bunch come out? There we go. Okay, so I fixed that. Okay, now, super hot. Hang on, crown is coming off. Wow. Give me a second. I have a hair tie here and it's going in and up. Okay, whew, that's so much better. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so here we go with this. We're gonna do a little flower and this bigger flower. And what we're gonna do here, isn't that pretty with that Wink Stella on there? We're gonna set this I think right over here. I don't want to cover up the whole ends of my banner because they're kind of cool, right? And we'll put this one like maybe right over here. That looks pretty good, huh? What do you guys think about that? Now I also got out, where did those go? Here they are. <gasps> my favorite, <laughs> my favorite embellishments is the rhinestone basic jewels and i love these they're just so sparkly and so pretty and they're the perfect size and they just make me so happy so i'm going to do a few of these and you can just sprinkle them wherever you would like them look how pretty that is you guys look at how cool it is so of course we need like an envelope right i'm thinking ah uh, yeah hello oh i wish i didn't have kind of wrecked that so let me get my let me get my envelope out here. I think what we're gonna do. I definitely want my designer paper on here. So hang on. Let me get. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, heck with it. I'll just do this. And I'm gonna do two and a half. Two and a half by six is what you need for you if you're gonna do your envelope flap. Somebody sent me a measurement. You could do it a little bit smaller if you wanted to. So you can measure your envelope flap, right? I like to give myself plenty of room and let's be real, I got a lot of card, a lot of designer paper. So it doesn't, but I know you, you don't wanna waste it, right? Let's not be wasteful. So you do what you need to do. Look at how pretty it is. I just love it. I love this paper. It's just so pretty. Now, I was thinking what I was gonna do too is stamp my big flower on the front because we're using the paper that has that big spiky flower on it. And, oh, I love that flower. I just think it's so unique looking. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. Okay, where's my... Uh, it is. Piercing mat. This is a piercing mat. I just wrap it with printer weight paper and tape it on with, you know, just regular scotch tape. Here we go with this. Are you ready? Look at how beautiful. Oh, that is so beautiful, isn't it? It's just so beautiful. Here is our um, hamburger. <laughs> floating panel card and yes this fits right in, oh look I got ink on my finger this fits right in our envelope okay it fits right in here it might require a little like the extra ounce postage I'm not sure because there's a lot of layers in here and that makes it a little bit heavier but we use these fabulous artistic mix decorative masks that are so cool you guys and if you haven't gotten any of these, I highly recommend them. You can do so many neat things, and especially with fall coming, the plaid, oh, and Christmas, plaid for Christmas. Like, even um, the Christmas Scotty set that I'm using for my August kit has a plaid in it. Plaid is a hot item again. I don't know if it ever went away, but I know that it's, it's hot right now. Let's see if, can Kelly get this back in here? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, success. Yay! I don't know why that was so hard. Okay, so there's that. Now, other thing that I wanted to share with you. Oh, let's bring Mary's card in so I can show it to you again. Here's Mary's card. She used the um, Hues of Happiness designer series paper for hers, right? 
and Coastal Cabana. And look at, see how hers, hers ha has a lot lighter over here. And I just really like that, but I got a little heavy handed with mine. And she used black ink. So a couple little differences there, but oh, isn't this so fun? And her card is so pretty. But now we need to make a matching box for the, where those little cakes go. I can't wait to make the box. What did I do with them? Because I need to eat some of those. I lost the cakes. Oh, <laughs> they're right here. <laughs> Good grief. There we go. These little cakes makes a great little present. Okay, so here we go. Um, I have all my pieces cut out and sitting someplace. You would think this was my first day. It is not. Here we go. Okay. Whew. I need my box and I'll give you all of the details for this. Let me get my dimensionals over here too. I don't know why those are way over there. Oh, yeah, and I need to share that with you too. All right, um, here comes our designer series paper. So I used this particular pattern on this card. So I thought I would do my box with that pattern. So let me grab my trimmer. We'll tell you all about the little box. The box dimensions, again, I'm using the Orchid Oasis. This is four by seven and a quarter. And we're gonna score this at one and a quarter on all four sides. So let's get this opened up. I like to go this way. I'm gonna do one and a quarter. <gasps> I just cut it. Oh, I just cut it, you guys. Hang on. Don't worry. I have lots of cardstock. So again, this is four by seven and a quarter. Oops, let's do four this way. Four. And then seven and a quarter. Okay, put these away so I don't get confused. We know that's easy, right? Get that blade out of there. We'll use our scoring blade, not our cutting blade. So we're gonna score on all four sides at one and a quarter. So there's one, two, three, and four. Okay, this is our box bottom. Here's our box top. Now when you're scoring designer paper, you want to be a little careful, a little more careful with it. The designer paper is the same size. Because this is the lid, you may want it to be just a tiny bit bigger than the bottom so that it will fit on there, but not much. So if we scored on all four sides at one and a quarter, we might want to pull that back just like a sixteenth or an 18th of an inch, so just a hair. I'm gonna pull back just a hair. So there's one score line. I'm gonna pull back a hair on this one. I hope this is the right way. You guys are gonna be like, oh, she's doing it the wrong way if it's not. But you understand what I'm doing. This, the lid needs to be just a tiny bit bigger than the box so it will slide on there because they're both the same size. They're gonna be too snug of a fit. Yeah, and I think if you pull it make it less, it's going to make this part bigger, right? I think so. We'll see. see if she knows what she's talking about. Okay, we're gonna cut our lines now. So this is our box bottom. I'm gonna cut up from the bottom, just like this. And then on the tab, I'm going to cut out some wedges. And that's just gonna help your box fold better. This is just always a good rule of thumb when you're making boxes to cut out that wedge. So today I started watching a new series that was recommended to me. It's called Only Murders in the Building and it's got Martin Short in it and Steve Martin and Selena Gomez I think is in it. But you know, I was so busy trying to get everything 
done so I could go camping tomorrow <laughs> that I really couldn't pay attention. Do you guys ever watch a show and it's like one of those shows where you got to kind of pay attention? It's not like when you watch Murder Channel. <laughs> you don't have to pay very close attention to that, but you do when you're watching a show that you need to follow along. And so I got kind of lost in it. So I think what I'll do is I'll go back and watch, watch it again. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut from the bottom up here on both the long sides. So anyways, if you guys have watched Only Murders in the Building, let me know what you think of it. I'm undecided yet, because like I said, I got a little lost today. I had so much going on. Then I started having technical difficulties. My airdrop, I dropped my videos from my phone to my laptop, it wouldn't work. And I thought, you have get, that's gonna send me right over the edge. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my you know what. But I got it to work, finally. I turned everything off and turned it all back on again and then it worked. I don't know why, just no technology. It was almost to the point where when that happened, I was like, I'm done. But then I took my glasses off, I shook my head, I didn't cry, there's no crying and stamping. And I just said, keep it together, Kelly, you can make this happen. <laughs> so I persevered, but it was, a, it was a rough one for a few moments. I was pretty, my, my temperature gauge went up pretty hot. Okay, so look at that. Okay, so this is gonna be the lid of our cutie patootie. Look at how pretty that is already. Okay, so we're gonna get this glued together. Now, I've told you guys this in the past. You don't have to do it so much with um, designer series paper because that's got a different texture, but with cardstock, we use tear and tape or something a little stronger. So I am going to do this and this on the tabs. And then I kind of like to bring it up like this and get that nice crisp edge right here. I was watching my Snapchat today. I'm a big Snapchat. My kids call me a Snapchat whore. I'm not going to lie. I know that's not a very nice word, but it is pretty funny. And <laughs> I love Snapchat. And I love all the filters. <laughs> Anyways, um, my friend Wendy is in Belize right now. And She's, she's from here. I used to, she was actually, I, her and I lived together for a while um, back in the day when we lived in Madison. Well, she's still in Madison, I'm just not. And she's in Belize right now and she's been sharing all these Snapchat pictures. Her sister, who's also from Wisconsin, the sister and husband sold their house, sold everything and moved to Belize. And I thought, oh my gosh, and the pictures are just incredibly gorgeous. Like um, the sisters, Lori, Lori has a house right on the ocean that she has turned into like a resort. And it's so stinking pretty and the water's beautiful and they're catching fish and there was a seahorse in the water she was sharing. It's just so cool. I'm like, I wanna go, I was, we went on a cruise that stopped in Belize. You know, I'm sure we didn't get to see anything great from a cruise ship, but um, I would really like to go there again. Have you guys ever been to Belize? And she lives in Palencia, Belize, and I think the name of her resort is called Sea Glass something or another. So if anybody's interested in that, it was really, I looked at her rates and they were really um, economical. So shout out. Anybody needs to go to Belize, give me a holler and I can hook you up with Lori. That's super nice people. Good, honest, hardworking. Yeah. And their place is just right on the ocean. It's incredibly beautiful, but I want to go to Belize. Instead, I'm going to Lake Arbutus camping and that will be just as good. <laughs> it will. It'll be wonderful because my family can come. Well, some of them. We have kind of a big family with all the kids and the grandkids. and My husband has three kids, you guys know that, right? He has three kids before me. Okay, look at, here's our cutie patootie little box, you guys. Oh, what am I gonna do with that? Did I decide something? <clears throat> huh, I think I did decide something. I think I decided that I wanted to cut out 
Hmm. One of these flowers? Is that what I decided I wanted to do? Well, we have time. Let's be real. I'm not going for a margarita. <laughs> my friend Rachel usually goes to bed early, so she probably already went home. She's my buddy that I ride my bike with sometimes. She likes to go to the wetland preserve with me. She worked for me for a little while. She lost her job when COVID hit. And uh, she worked for me for a little while. And she found a new job, which she hated. And she just dumped that job and got a different job. And I hope she really likes it. It's for a much nicer company. So, okay. Here we go. I thought I had this done, and maybe I do, but I forgot. I don't know. This kind, of, this one's a little picky puss to cut out. <laughs> Not gonna lie. This one needs to be a little more precise. But I thought this would be really cute and totally worth putting on our box. We're gonna hit it with the Wink of Stella and make it super duper pretty. Just like oh, I need to get rid of that white edge. That's gonna bother me. Okay. Let's do this. Wink of Stella. You guys are being so patient tonight. And you're like, Kelly, do we have a choice? Because <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> what are you guys drinking? I've got my boring little strawberry lemonade, which I love. Not lying. It is my it is my favorite. Oh. I got a bunch of those slushy drinks that you can get at the liquor store, and they're in pouches. And one is like a mango margarita, and one is called tiger's blood, and one is a pina colada, and one was a watermelon something or another. <gasps> They're so good. I'm going to get a whole bunch of those. I got a bunch in the freezer here, but I'm going to get a bunch to take camping too. Okay, are you ready? Oh, you know what? I might like, I don't know. Yeah, I think I want a little piece of ribbon. So let's see what kind of ribbon I got. What do I? Yeah, that would look nice with that. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. How about this? That goes with it. I don't know if that's too purpley for what I'm doing. Oh, I think that'll look pretty. What do you guys? Uh, I don't know. Let's see, this looks way more blue, and this is way more purple. And yeah, this is the Orchid Oasis. So I think what I'm going to do. Is, oh, I think the glitter matches the embellishments here. So I'm going to go with glitter. This is our organic glitter ribbon. And I'm. this is going to be a belly band. So I don't want to tie this too tight so that it can't slide off. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm going to tie a pretty little bow. Maybe. We'll see. I had Dawson this morning, you guys, for a little while. Haley took Val to the swimming pool. She found out that there's reading and swimming on Thursday mornings, and it's free. So she's like, oh, she's all about free now that they bought a house. <laughs> this sounds familiar, right? And We remember now that we bought a house, we don't have any money for anything. So she's been really looking at the free stuff. Not that she wouldn't have anyways. We have some great programs here. Last night, I took Molly and her friend to the pool movie night. They, the movie, the pool place, plays a movie. It was pretty cool. Okay, so, oh, look at that. You guys, isn't that cool? Look at my whole little set here. I'm so proud of this. Okay, so let me show you. I believe Mary had a ribbon on here too, but I don't know what happened to the ribbon. Um, I lost it someplace. But here's, here's the one that Mary sent me. And isn't that fun? I just love, this is part of that. Um, Hues of Happiness paper. She's got a couple little tags on here. Here is our cake, okay? And you can wrap, um, she just wrapped some uh, ribbon around the candle and stuck this on with like a mini glue dot. And let's do this. Let's get this right in here. That did work, by the way, for my lid to be a little bit bigger. Look at how cute that is. Now, you can buy a whole box of these. I don't know how much. They're less than $5, I think. There's eight birthday presents in here. Eight of them. 
do this the next time you go to lunch for birthday, like my mom does birthday lunch with all of her friends. <clears throat> Each month they get together and celebrate whoever's birthday it is. And this would be a perfect gift for my mom to take with a card, right? Because it really doesn't cost anything. And it's just such a cute little idea. I absolutely love it. Birthday cakes. Yay. Okay, you guys. Now, I am going to be sharing a PDF. Just so you know, Mary was gracious enough. She sent me her drawing and all of her dimensions here so that I would know what the heck I was doing. And Mary, can I just say, whoa, you did a great job because I had not made this one before. I did make the tall one and it's very similar. Let's be real. So um, that was pretty impressive that I actually got through that without too many conundrums, right? <laughs> There's a big word or just a weird word. And what else is I gonna show you? Oh, I know. Did you guys notice the stamps right now? These stamps match. Look at how they, oops, let me pull this up here. I just noticed this. Look at how these stamps match these flowers. Is that not hilarious? So you could have a whole matching, even with a matching stamp, okay? And then this is the card that my friend Lynn from Australia sent me. And this is absolutely beautiful. This uses this um, world, where that world, wonderful world designer series paper. Yeah, this is the same stuff. Rich Razzleberry is one of the coordinating colors, but this is where that paper, and this is part of the paper. Let me grab that because she cut it out. Sorry about that. Things are loud here. She cut that flower out of here someplace. Where is it from? Now I'm getting, here we go. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that. That's where this flower is coming from. Isn't that so pretty? This is absolutely gorgeous. And again, this is free with a $100 order. It is called Wonderful World. You get not only the stamp set, but you get an entire pack of designer series paper. So it is a fabulous deal at free. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you still gotta spend the money, right? I'm like, yeah, Kelly, everything's free when you're gonna spend the money. Well, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, <laughs> Okay, we're gonna show some mail now. And can I just say that my mail this week was absolutely gorgeous. There was one card, not that all of them didn't deserve it, but there was one card that made me gasp and I think you will too. All the cards are beautiful, but there was one. And I was like, what? Okay, here we go. Well, actually there was more than one. Okay, I'm a liar. This came from my friend Susan. Whoops, uh, I don't know why that beeped. Look at this. Is this not the cutest, cutest, cutest ever? I absolutely love this. She is just sends the most beautiful. And look at how she put the um, solid color designer series paper, or um, solid color cardstock in here to write on. I've never done that, but this is a really unique idea. Look at how pretty that is. I just love that. Thank you, Susan. Absolutely beautiful. Next, so let's we'll hold that one. Next, I have a card from my team leader. And my team leader is Anne Hebner. Look at this. This is the geranium bundle. How pretty is this? And it says, congratulations, you are number one sales for the Stampin' Annie Stampers group through the Stampin' Up third quarter. So thank you, Anne. This is absolutely beautiful. I appreciate that. This is very cool. I like how they use the wood grain on the back here. This is from Diane Fidlin, and she wants to um, thank me for the In Color Jewels. She was one of the winners from last week. Look at, look at how pretty this is. One of the winners from um, Facebook Live. Beautiful, beautiful card. Thank you so much, Diane. Next up, we have Muriel and Mossbow. This was just so pretty. I love these colors together. These are the um, celebration cards and envelopes. Those ran out. Like, those were a hot, not seller because they were free, but people really chose a lot of those. So isn't this just absolutely gorgeous? And she is thanking me for the Amber Gem Combo pack that she got from the 
um, mini catalog kickoff that we just got done with. So we had a whole catalog kickoff that was all online. It was super fun. So many people joined us. Look at this beautiful card. This is so pretty. Now, hang on. I have a little note that came with this one. Mm, nope, a different one. Um, this is from Sherry Pyre. And it's a birthday card. Enjoy your old fashioned on me. Sherry sent me cash, cold, hard cash. Look at how pretty this is. So that I could go have an old fashioned and take my sweetie with me. We're going to have some old fashions this week, Sherry, in the next week. So you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Like, I am always in awe at people's thoughtfulness and their kindness. And it's just crazy. Look at how beautiful this envelope is. And you notice Sherry didn't write in this card so that I can use it. And I will, Sherry. Don't you doubt it. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, next up. Diane Christie. I have to show this to you. This is how I got your card. The post office, like, ripped the whole corner off of it. I was like, are you kidding me right now? So, anyways, I could still see how fabulous it was. And I love that you used the stitched rectangle to cut out this designer paper because that stitching on there just makes it look so cool. So yeah, and it kind of looks like a suitcase, doesn't it, with the ribbon on there? I don't know if you intended that, but super, super cool. And Diane sent me a little note. She just wanted to thank me for the stamp and die set. She enjoys watching and learning from me every week. Diane, I'm so happy that you are part of my inky world. So thank you for that. Then, this oh my gosh you guys how cute is this i am in a swap i actually host a swap and it's a bundle swap so we use a different bundle every month and it's with some select demonstrators across the country the hippos are our um our bundle swap for this last month and can i just say whoa this is so stinking adorable i can't even how cute is that these are celebration. The stamp set is free with $50. The dies are free with $50. And then we've got the um, Ringed with Love Designer Series paper in here. That's also free with $50. So lots of good free stuff going on right now. And this is a slimline card. She sent it in one of our slimline envelopes. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, now I saved the uh, Gatsby card for the end. Are you ready for this? This is from E. Washington, and there was no note in here. Nothing. So I don't know full name, but E. Washington from Orlando, Florida. Are you ready for this? What? When you open it, it opens the inside, you guys. Can you even, so who thinks that I need to show us all how to make this? I don't even know how to do it, but I can figure it out, right? Little paper, paper engineering. Look at, oh wait, oh, there it is. Look at you guys, I didn't even know that. She says, thanks for the happy mail. Ah, oh, Esther, it's Esther Washington. Esther, you are so welcome. I'm so glad that popped up for me. But isn't this just the coolest thing ever? Esther. You're killing me with this fun fold. Okay, you guys. Gosh, is there anything else that I needed to tell you? Just don't forget, join my team. It's the best gift you will ever give yourself. If you're a stamper, you deserve it. We all work hard. We do hard things. We need, we need to have some fun. You'll get this planner for free. Plus, you know, you know, you've heard me say it before. You get $125 to pick out of anything you want in any of our catalogs. And it only costs you $99. You get free shipping. You get a 20% minimum discount on all your future orders. Even more than that if you do more with it. But you could just be a discount shopper. And being a part of my team, super fun. I will never, ever push you to do more than you want to do with this. If you just want to shop at a discount, that's all you need to do. You can still come on board, be part of a bigger group, and have so much fun with us. So... Like I said, the best gift you will ever buy yourself is joining my team. And then you get a bunch of free stuff too, right? 
Celebration lasts until the end of August. Don't forget, bingo is coming up on the 10th. And I can't hardly wait to play. It's been a, I think I haven't done bingo since June because, you know, July was crazy with all the catalogs and all the things. So I hope you'll be able to join me for that. It's a lot of fun. Once again, you guys, I wish I could have been here live with you tonight, but I'm glad that I had the opportunity to share. Oh my gosh, are these not the coolest? <laughs> and Mary, thank you so much for sharing your, where'd your card go? Your amazing talent and sending me this for my birthday because it literally was so stinking cute, I can't even tell you. Thanks for all the cards, you guys. Sherry, thanks for the cash, baby. Old fashions are coming my way pretty soon. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. I am not sure if I will be live next week, Sunday. It just depends on whether we come home from camping on Sunday or Monday. So just know, don't count on it. And if I can make it happen, you know that I will. Because I miss you guys on Sunday night if I'm not here. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Thank you for spending the evening with me. Bye-bye.